I guess you've sat in them before or something. I, I booby trapped one of them, so. <laughs> hope, hope means that you believe that whatever is ahead of you is the best thing that you that you could experience. That that your whether it's your years on life or your eternal life, whatever is ahead of you is better than anything you've experienced. That that whatever's around the corner is beautiful, exciting, something you should hope for, be excited about. Hope's a future word. And and love, the whole chapter is about love. You know, Paul didn't write about a whole lot about faith. He didn't write a whole lot about about hope, but. Uh, we skim over this chapter so often, recognize that, that we are going, as members of the church, we are judged uh, by our place in the body, uh, not by how brilliant we are, how funny, uh, any of these things. It's by how we build others up. And uh, you're responsible, along with me, to be part of this fabric of First Christians so that when people come here, uh, regardless of what their life situation is, that they are built up, that they're received, that they're loved. Some things we don't contone, like stealing purses, right? But nobody should be treated with disrespect, with hatred. And so love is the key, Paul says. Every gift you have is going to be dangerous. It's going to be at best neutral if you do not surround it with love. Let's sing. We're going to sing. It's on the back of your, of your, uh, your sheet, 526. Please stand if you're able. unto you. May he lift up his countenance and shine upon you and give you the peace of his son, Jesus Christ. Amen.